My name is Josh McCrary. I'm a division engineer in the engineering design group. Uh, I've been with the company since 2015. My group touches most, if not all, project types uh, from engineering perspective. So main renewals, station renewals, uh, pipelines, uh, meter sets. It's just pretty much everything in the, in the territory we will touch in some capacity. The day-to-day -day changes every day. Every week it's something different. We are constantly determining what is top priority. Uh, we talk about safety a lot. That's the basement floor. That's where we start. That's the foundation. Uh, so any decision we make after that, there is the understanding that safety is the priority and it has to be maintained. So now we have to look at uh, which project, which project type is, is more sensitive. So, for example, if we're working on a pipeline renewal or even a new pipeline today and there's a mass outage somewhere in our, uh, in our service area, the priority shifts because, again, our priority is maintaining the service to existing customers and doing everything we can to safety, safely bring on uh, the new customers. I worked in the railroad industry for about six or seven years. Uh, and it, it was pretty cool, uh, and, and now there we were transporting uh, everything, materials and, and commodities, but via rail, and now uh, I'm part of transporting natural gas. So there are some sim similarities, there are a lot of uh, transferable skills, and I think just people skills is probably the, the biggest thing that, that transferred, and, and I'm starting to learn that that is beneficial in any industry. There aren't very many we'll say college curriculums uh, that are specific to natural gas or the natural gas industry. So what happens is you do a lot of on-job training and it is fast paced. Uh, so we do build on kind of the fundamentals of uh, engineering that you will learn in school. Uh, but once you start working with the gas company, uh, the, the, we kind of give you the framework. You know, so you'll come in and you'll read different manuals, different concepts about what we do. And then piece by piece, You'll, you'll be able to plug into that framework. And so the training we do, and something we're always conscious of, we don't want uh, new employees to only learn one facet of, of, of our business. We want them to have a, a big picture of what we do uh, and how we do it. Uh, and then something that's really good about engineering design, we interact with so many different groups. Uh, so we will fill a lot of the other groups and departments within the company from engineering design. It's, it, it's somewhat of a launching pad. The company's done a big push for Dean and I, and I'm appreciative of that. There's a benefit to getting the perspective and knowledge from people that aren't often in the room, right? So if you're used to doing something the same way, you've always done it the same way, and this is the only way you know to do it, those individuals uh, that have been involved in that process, that's all you're gonna get. Uh, but if you're really pursuing uh, innovation and pursuing growth and sustainability, then you're gonna have to tap um, yeah, other resources that weren't previously tapped. Uh, so that's why it's important to create that inclusive environment to where uh, all individuals will feel comfortable. So I think it's important uh, that you create an environment where everyone feels comfortable speaking and, and existing uh, and sharing their ideas.